Hello everyone, this is part 2 of Coding Adventures in Python with Twilio Quest. So, let's get started. We're going to go on to the next puzzle. And on the next one, learn how to work with strings of text in your Python code. So, in this um, objective, we want to take a string, uh, and we want to convert it to all upper, and we also want to add uh, exclamation marks on it. Now, we already did um, adding, and not only can we use numbers to add numbers together, we could also take strings and put them together. By using the, uh, the addition function, which is, uh, I'm sorry, the addition symbol, which is a plus sign, we can take two strings and we can combine them together. We can take I love puppies and we can take exclamation marks and we can put, to, put them together. And also we want to make these capital. So let's, I'm going to show you how you can manipulate strings. So we're going to go into the shell of Python. Now let's understand one thing first. Uh, the difference between the shell and a regular file is on the shell we're going to execute the commands and it will give us an output. On the file this is simply where we would edit the code and then we would execute it in the shell. So right now I'm going to use the shell to show you how we can manipulate strings. So let's make a, a test string. We'll name it test and we'll call it we'll call it I love puppies now again we can add strings together we set the string I love puppies to an object named test so if I call test if I hit test and press enter it'll show me the string okay now if I press test plus I can add another string to it so let's add dollar signs <clears throat> Okay, so I wrote the object test plus dollar signs, and it shows the, the test object with the dollar signs. Okay, let's make it a little nicer. Plus space, three dollar signs. Okay, so this is how you would use um, the addition sign to add strings together. So we have to take the text and we have to add exclamation marks so I just showed you how to add text together now we have to manipulate the string and we want to make it all capital and I'm gonna show you how we can do that let's write test dot and if we press let's close that um, <clears throat> if we press the tab button here I didn't press it if we press the tab button here we can see a list of built-in functions I'm sorry methods that we can use so for example, if write if I write test upper, now if I call it just like this, it'll just show me that it's a method at the memory address. But I actually want to execute it. So to execute it, it would be test dot upper op open and close parentheses. And if I press that, notice it'll take the text and it'll make it in all um, capital capital letters. So let me show you one more thing. I can also write test dot lower. Okay, it'll make it lower. And again, if I press test dot in the tab, here you can use uh, a number of them and you can see what they do. And I encourage you to do that. Okay, so now what we want to do, we want to take this text and we want to make it capitalized. And let's add some exclamation marks. So test the upper Oops. test the upper, and we're going to add three exclamation marks. Okay, and notice I did exactly what we wanted to do, but we need to write a program uh, to execute this. So let's see how we're going to do that. I'm going to put this to the side, and let's go to the help. To the help section again I encourage you to read through all of this so let's go here so we're gonna copy and paste this onto a file again not the shell we're gonna open a new file so here we're gonna open a new file and we're gonna copy and paste this code and I'll explain to you what we're, what this means paste okay so if you can remember from the last video Import, we're importing the sys module, and the sys module helps us um, use the operating system of uh, the command prompt. So let's open up the command prompt. 
cmd and i'm going to navigate to the folder that we have all of our files so cd desktop cd twilio oops twilio okay so now i'm here so let's see what's happening here we're making an object called input strings and we're setting it to sys.argv1 now let me remind you s sys.argv0 would be the first argument passed so let me show you what that means now here in the um, in the command prompt i want to run python3 i want to run the file name strings.py and this is the string that i want to manipulate meaning i want to put it uppercase and i also want to put exclamation marks so what I want to do since this is number one this would be the second thing that I'm passing so this would be the first thing first argument that I'm passing but I want to manipulate the second one so this is why this is this is sys.argv1 this basically equals this okay so let's go back so we're, we're setting that this object right here this string I'm sorry this string, we're st setting this string to an object. Whatever that you type in there, it doesn't matter what you type in there, we're setting it to a, uh, an object called input string. Now, we want to make the output string, we want to make it all capital and we want to add the exclamation marks. So, here, remember when we made the object, we called it test. And how did we make it capitalize? We wrote test.upper, right? Here, this is basically your, your object name. You have to do the same thing here, okay? You input string dot upper, and also we also want the exclamation marks. So notice here, I did it in one in one line. I wrote the the object name test. In this case, it's input string dot upper plus whatever. Um, sorry, the exclamation marks. So if I fill this in here. Um, at the the uh, the file should work, okay. So I have it already saved. Uh, so let let me go ahead and transfer the file, and we're gonna go ahead and run it on the command prompt. So we want to open this up, Python three. We can copy and paste this, but I like to type it in. Python three. <clears throat> so again, we want to open Python three. We want to open the name of the file. It's called strings.py. Again, we have to be in the folder in order to run it. I already have in my in my Twilio file uh, folder right here. I already have a strings f <clears throat> a file, and I'm gonna write text. So let's write uh, let's write whatever, whatever. So if I run this, it should give me this capitalized and exclamation marks okay there we go okay so it works so if you have uh, if you have that file so again we're gonna create a file <clears throat> this is your this is your file and you're gonna input you're gonna fill this in okay you would make it upper I showed you how to make it upper and you'll also add exclamation marks and then it should be able to hack okay so let's pass through here and pick up this note all right we have five of nine clues cool i don't think we can go through here okay so let's let's continue okay let's try this one okay lists okay we're basically going to make a list and lists are, are, are pretty simple okay we want to make a list called make a file called list.py and we need to name take an object called order of success session and we want to make a list containing all of these objects so I'm gonna help you out with an example so again I'm gonna use the shell just as an example and I'm gonna name my list let's say groceries groceries okay and I'm gonna make a list and by uh, the way you make a list is uh, open and close square brackets now I can make an empty list so if I hit enter here and I call groceries it'll give me an empty list so let's fill that list groceries equals open square bracket 
and let's put eggs. Oh, I'm sorry. We have to make a string. Eggs. Butter. And cheese. Okay. So here's my list. So basically I have... Um, oh, by the way, I can put any type of objects in here. So I can write... Again, let's write groceries again. I'll copy and paste this here. And I can also add another object type here. For example, I can write the number four. And that would be okay. Okay, and if I call groceries, it will give me everything. So we could put strings. We could put uh, numbers. We could put anything in the list. So that's how you make a list. Okay, so basically we're going to make a new file. Right? make an object make the object order of succession and make a list containing these names okay make sure it's correctly spelled um, so, uh, separated by commas okay as you can tell the way that I separated here right use this comma eggs butter cheese number four make an object called order of succession which is a list of these names so again I'm going to transfer the file over because I have already completed it if it's successful if you have uh, order of succession with these names and click hack it should be good all right let's do one more well first let's pick up this note <clears throat> awesome we have six of nine clues okay we'll save this one down here for later let's do this one over here okay functions Functions are pretty cool because functions are like uh, mini programs. So, objective. Okay. We need to define a function called hail friend, which prints the message hail friend. Okay. So, a function, let's look at what functions are. Functions, again, they're like little programs. So, let's make a, let's make a program. So the way so the way that we would define a function, we will write def, and here we can use any name. And for example, here I'm going to make a function that adds that takes two um, integers and adds them together. <clears throat> so I'll call this one sum numbers, okay? And it will take two arguments. We'll call those two arguments a and b. A and B will be the, the two numbers that I pass inside, okay? So, right here, in order to define this um, function, oh, I'm sorry, there's one thing I forgot. It's very, very important. I need to hit colon right here. Um, and then when I press enter, notice it's going to be indented, okay? It's four, indented four spaces, and it does it automatically because this is how you write out a function. You write DEF space, and you write out the name. Sometimes you need to pass arguments. Sometimes you don't, okay? Um, in this case, I'm going to show you one where you do pass arguments. So, what, what do I want to return? I basically want to return... A, a and B added together, right? So we're going to write return. And notice these are reserved keywords for Python, okay? DEF, return, and there's a few of them, okay? While is also one, okay? So return, basically, we're going to tell Python here, what are we going to do with A and B? We want to add them together. So we would write return A plus B. And let's save this. Now this is an example. Okay. Now let's run this. We'll run it in the shell. And the way that we run this function right here, the name of the function is called sum numbers. So sum underscore numbers. And again, see, notice it says A and B. It's telling you that it it's expecting two arguments. So you need to put it two numbers and hopefully It'll take those two numbers and it'll add it together. So let's put two and two. Two and two. Oops. And notice how it takes those two numbers and it adds them together. Let's try another one. Some numbers. Just to make sure it works. We'll write a hundred and a thousand. Okay, and it works. So functions are very useful. Okay, so what do we want the 
this function to do. We want it to return a message that says this. Okay, so let's do let's do another example, and I'll do it in the shell. We're gonna define define um, define hello. Okay, and in this um, function. I will not take an argument. So notice I'm not typing anything inside. Okay. So basically what I want this function to do is I want it to say hello to me. So we'll write print and this print function will print out anything that you want it to. And I would like it to say hello. Okay. And that's it. Now remember the indentation, it does it automatically. Just as long as you, just as long as the syntax is correct. Okay. DEF, the name of the function open close parentheses in the colon okay and we'll write print hello okay we'll hit enter and then we'll hit enter again to finish this and now we're gonna call this function uh, hello open close parentheses and hopefully it will print out hello great so what you have to do you have to define a function named hail friend okay and you want it to print out hail friend okay so basically modify this code in order to meet this these requirements hail friend and you need to call this functions.py okay so I have already done it I'm gonna take the file and transfer it over now if this is all correct if I have the file that has a function named hail friend that prints the statement out in my Twilio folder and I press hack Oh no. What do you mean? Let's double check. Oh, <laughs> notice I over I overwrote this. So let's uh let me go ahead and fix it. Okay, so I'm going to save it. Let's try again. All right. So here we're clear here. Let's pick up this note. And we have 7 of 9 clues. Now we have a quite a few puzzles to complete we have this one to do over here we have function arguments so here we're gonna pass arguments okay and let's look at the other one this one uh, list iter iteration so we're gonna do that next time we're gonna take a short break and uh, I'll see you in the next video bye bye